we are creating a weather application in Webflow using WIST and Open Weather API. In the last lesson, we created this uh, card which contains a very basic information about a city. And now in this lesson, we are going to test the Open Weather API. Yeah, so we have so first of all, we need to get the latitude and longitude for a specific city. So let's take an example of Lahore. We know the name of the city, but we do not know that what is the latitude and what is the longitude. Let's test um, the API, which is, okay, so uh, Open Weather API, they have different APIs. There is one API, which is about if we pass the latitude and longitude, and the API key, so it will return all this information for that specific area on the map, right? But we need to get the latitude and longitude first. So for this purpose, we have another API, which is about geocoding API. And if we just pass the name of the city, we will get the latitude and longitude, this information, right? I'm just copying this endpoint. Let's copy this API call and let's go to Postman. So we will be using Postman to test our APIs and what are the results we get. And then we will move to WISD. So before moving to WISD, let's just copy the, the API endpoint. Let me just remove all these, uh, all these query parameters from this call. So let's keep the city name and let's only keep the API key. Let me go to my profile. Let me just copy this API key. Let's go back and paste that API key right there. Yeah, so this is one thing and there we need to pass the city name. So let's just type Lahore and I think it, it looks good. So let's, let's test it and send the request. Okay, so our request is successful and we get all this information. So these are all the local names for Lahore and you can see that um, this, is, this is the name in Urdu and in other languages as well. Yeah, and this is the latitude and longitude. So now we can use this information. So let's create a new tab and let's go to the this this one. Let's copy this uh, API call. Let's go back and paste this information here. We do not want to exclude anything. Let's remove this part. We need to keep the API key and we need to keep the latitude and longitude. So we can also make changes from here as well. Uh, so let's go back to our previous um, previous results. Let's copy this latitude. Sorry, let's go to this tab. Let me just replace it with latitude. So the URL will automatically be updated. Let's go back to this tab. Let's copy this. So this is just for the learning purpose and just for the testing purpose. Uh, when we build our system, so this will be automatically done. Uh, we will just pass the city name and the system will automatically use that name to get the latitude and longitude and the system will pass that and then the system will pass the latitude and longitude to another API call to get the weather, in, weather information. So we won't be doing this manually when once we build the system. Uh, but be, just for the testing purpose and for the learning purpose, we are just copying and pasting the information. So the API key will remain the same. Let's copy and paste and let's, okay, just go through the endpoint to make sure that everything looks good. Okay, so let's click on send and okay. Okay, so it says that, please note that using one API requires a separate subscription. It's because of I'm using a free plan 
let's try to create a new API which is about let's get another API key about the and give it a name let's use this API key for this specific request replace it and let's try this again still the same okay so I'm not sure um, I was looking to the pricing it's it says that we can make 60 API calls per minute and we have the geocoding API and we have the current weather API which is free for everyone then why it's asking me to buy the subscription I'm not sure I think maybe um, let's not use this uh, one call API 3.0. Maybe it, it is a paid version. Let's go to the API list and let's find current weather. Okay, so let's go this one. Sorry, I think this is this this is the paid version. This is not free. Let's go to uh, so let's go to this um, free version. Yeah, so I was using the wrong API call, I think. So let's now replace it with the information. Let's copy this. Uh, so this is longitude. And this is the latitude i hope it will work now i hope so no invalid api keys i need to refresh this page sorry about that Okay, so let's get the Lahore, Lat, and Long from Google, yeah? Okay, so let's just copy this information from here. This is the latitude, and this is the longitude. That's correct. Okay, so now let's run the request. Let's try to use this API key. Why it's keep saying that API is incorrect. Yeah, so maybe that was the issue with this API key. So now we get the results. So we get the weather information. We get the information about temperature, how it feels like, minimum, maximum pressure. So there's a lot. There is a lot of information. So, so yeah, th this is what we will be doing in WIST. When so we can take um, we can take inputs from from an input field just like here. So we we can we can add a drop down where the user can select the city 
or the user can enter the the city name or we can add a search field where if i write if i write lahore and i click search so it, it it's showing me lahore and if i click that city name so it is uh, updating the information so there could be a lot of ways of uh, getting the input and then displaying the information uh, so this this was uh, something that i wanted to show you and we can make use of postman um, to test the apis and what are the results we get so uh, things will be very similar in vist so we will be doing very similar things but these things will get connected with the front end and it will be more interesting and fun.